If you are experiencing increased noise while riding or have more than a thousand kilometers on the bike, you should add grease to the motor. Today, we're going to show you how. For this job, you will need a few tools, an eight millimeter hex key, a four millimeter hex key, a crank puller, a 15 millimeter wrench, and mobile one synthetic grease. For the BBSO2, you will also need a Phillips head screwdriver. Always remember to remove the battery before working on the motor. Using the 8mm hex key, remove the crank arm bolt. Thread the crank puller into the crank arm. Now use the 15mm wrench to tighten the extractor until the crank arm is free from the spindle. Use the 4mm hex key to remove the chainring bolts. On some BBSO2 bikes, you will need to remove a plastic chain guard by using the Phillips head screwdriver. Next, the motor cover needs to be removed. On the BBSHD, use the 4mm hex key. On the BBSO2, the motor cover uses Phillips head screws. With the screws removed, the motor cover can be taken off. On the BBSHD, the main gear will come off with the cover. Slide the clutch off of the spindle if it was not removed with the main gear. On the BBSO2, the main gear and clutch will remain in the motor. Now it's time to grab the grease. Always wear gloves while handling grease. Using your finger, pack grease between the teeth of the main gear. Apply grease to the ratchet ring where the clutch rides as well as the spindle and pinion gear. Place the clutch into the main gear. Ensure that the clutch spins clockwise after it's installed. For the BBSO2, simply pack grease between the teeth on the gears and the motor casing.
Now, the motor cover can be reinstalled. On the BBSHD, the gears will need to be lined up, so it may take a few attempts to get it to slide into place. Just be patient and it will seat properly. Wipe away any excess grease left on the outside of the motor. Reinstall the chainring using the 4mm hex key. Be sure to torque down the chainring bolts in a star pattern after getting them snug. Slide the crank arm onto the spindle and tighten with the 8mm hex key. Make this bolt very tight as you do not want this falling off while riding. Finally, you can test the motor. 